Pete, North Las Vegas. We're talking about detachable carry handles today. We're going to talk about how there's two specs. There's a commercial spec dimension and there's a mill spec dimension. And then we're going to talk about one particular manufacturer who's no longer in business that used to put uh, standard A2 front sight bases on their flat top rifles instead of the correct F mark and how that may affect uh, things like uh, co-witnessing and point of aim versus point of impact. And then uh, the second part of the video, we'll be comparing a 33-year-old Colt carry handle to a brand new Colt carry handle that has the cage code. And no affiliation with Arms Unlimited. They just sent me a decal, so I thought I'd show it. That's where I got the, uh, the brand new Colt carry handle. And this is a newer Colt carry handle that I bought maybe four or five years ago. It does not have a, a cage code on it. But um, it is it is Colt. So anyway, we'll do a side by side comparison of the three Colt carry handles. Okay, so here's the numbers. You can see the uh, mil spec uh, carry handle at 0.835 and commercial at 0.795. The difference between an F marked and a standard A2 front sight base. When I put both of these Wyndham's together, I bought the stripped upper and just the barrel kits. And this one has the one in seven twist uh, government. And this one has a one in nine twist government profile barrel. And I bought the carry handle separately. And I made an interesting discovery today doing this video. This carry handle on the original Wyndham that I, I put together is commercial spec. This carry handle that they sent me when I bought the barrel kit and the stripped down upper receiver is mill spec. <laughs> I thought they were both commercial, but I actually measured them today and, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So this is the carry handle off the uh, Wyndham 1 and 7 twist that I put together years ago. And it comes in right at commercial spec. So now we'll pop the other one off and measure it. So this came off the one and nine twist rifle that I built uh, quite a few years later after the first Wyndham weaponry. And um, you can see that it comes in right at mil spec. So the first Wyndham here with the standard A2 front sight base and the commercial spec carry handle, because the standard A2 is 40,000 shorter than an F marked, and this is commercial spec is 40,000 shorter than a mil spec carry handle, then your iron sights are aligned as good as they can be on this rifle. Now, where you might run into trouble is if you put a mil spec carry handle on here by mistake, not knowing that you had a standard A2 front sight base, or you're trying to co-witness an optic like maybe a red dot or a flip up iron sight. Uh, most flip-up iron sights that I know of are at F marked height. So that's where you're going to have a mismatch with this setup. But so long as you're using the Wyndham commercial carry handle with the standard A2 front sight base, everything is, is lined up the way it's supposed to be. On the newer Wyndham here, the, the second one I put together, because they sent me a mil spec dimension carry handle, it sits up 40 thousandths taller which matches with an F marked. But the problem with this rifle is I don't have an F marked. It's a standard A2. So this thing is, is mismatched. So let's do a little math here. The front sight post, one click, moves that front sight post up or down seven thousandths of an inch. How much does seven thousandth of an inch affect uh, point of impact at 25 meters. And at 25 meters, one click will change the point of impact three-eighths of an inch. So with a 40,000 mismatch between the carry handle and the front sight post, what what does that do? Okay, let's round, us, let's round that off to 42 thousandths instead of 40 because that's a nice number. And that equates to six clicks mismatch at about 40 to 42 thousandths. 
and that will change your impact approximately two inches at 25 meters. So 40,000 Smith's match, two inches is what your point of impact will change. Let's say you're shooting, shooting at 100 meters. You can see that the point of impact uh, jumps up to one and three eighths, one inch and three eighths per click of front sight post elevation change. So you can see the further out you get that this 40,000 mismatch is gonna add up in a hurry. So a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, you know, maybe it does matter. Uh, especially if you're a competition shooter, you know, national match, uh, civilian marksmanship program, uh, whatever you're trying to compete with uh, as far as iron sights go, that, that kind of mismatch, it, it does make a difference. So what I'm going to do with the original Wyndham that I put together is I'm going to go to a mil-spec dimension carry handle and put in a 40 thousandths taller front sight post to get this rifle completely mil-spec. That way, if someday I ever want to run an optic on here and, and co-witness correctly or a, a pop-up iron sight, everything is set up and ready to go. Everything matches up. Um, this rifle here, because it came with a mil-spec dimension carry handle, all I need to do is change the front sight post to a taller 40 thousandths, and then this rifle will be straightened out. Or I could just throw them back in the safe and not worry about it. Nah, I want them to be right. Before we get to the uh, three Colt carry handles that I have, the comparison, I thought I'd showcase this from DS Arms, and I bought this quite a few years ago. They're more famous or more well-known for FN foul rifles and parts, but they started uh, selling AR-15 stuff quite a few years ago. So I thought I'd give them a try, and, and I bought one of the carry handles, and this thing is like right on the money, mill spec. The drum is indexed perfectly. It showed up without a dinger or scratch on it. It's very well machined. You won't find any casting marks anywhere. It's all been machined smooth. I mean, everything about it is just really a quality piece. And uh, you'll notice that uh, this forge mark here is on the right side. And this Fulton Armory that we're getting ready to look at, the forging mark is on the left side. All right, let's talk about Fulton Armory because uh, there's some things they did not get right. Fulton Armory on their website does not say if this is commercial or mil spec dimension. Um, the one I got from them that I purchased uh, a few years ago was a commercial spec. It came in at 0.795 from here to here. Um, overall, you know, other than I thought I was buying mil spec and I got commercial, um, the issue was they didn't get the drum indexed uh, properly. So you can see right now we're lined up on uh, 6 3. And um, I can go in the down direction one, two, three clicks. So they got the indexing on the drum off by three clicks. Um, was that intentional? Are they trying to compensate for something else? I, I don't know. I think they just screwed up myself. I mean, the rest of it, it's, it's good quality. Dimensionally, everything is fine. Um, just the fact that I got a commercial when I was expecting a mil spec and the drum not being properly indexed. I was going to try to re-index this, and I tried to get that set screw out, and I don't know what they used in there, but it's like that set screw is welded in. I was afraid I was going to destroy my, uh, my hex key, my hex wrench, or I was going to strip it. and So I just decided just to leave this thing the way it is. So anyway, like I said, back when I bought this from Fulton, it was commercial and the drum is not indexed properly. And when you take the drum re-indexing, that's not quite correct in the commercial dimension. It comes in at 0.804 for a plus nine thousandths. So on this Fulton Armory with the uh, drum not properly indexed, as I was saying in the last clip, that worked out to about nine thousandths from this thing being on the bottom. And that's gonna change your impact uh, a click and a half on the, uh, the front sight post. 
So that's probably not going to add up to much, but still that's probably over half an inch at 25 meters. Okay, so this is the 33-year-old uh, carry handle. And really, like, the only main difference I could tell is the Z marking on the drum is different than the, uh, the slightly newer version. You can see that that Z is quite a bit smaller. So that's one difference that kind of jumped out at me. The numbering looks a little different. Um, it, it seems like the dividing line is maybe a little bit more vertical and the dividing line on this drum is a little bit more horizontal. I don't know, could just be my dorked up eyes. And so this is the newer one, the non cage code, but it's, it's still a newer version. And here's the brand new cage code. Okay, the oldest one, there's the forge mark. Newer one. And the brand new one, the forge mark is on the right side. On the oldest one, quite a bit of flashing. The newer one, quite a bit of flashing. The brand new one. Um, they did a really good job. They didn't get rid of all of it, but they really got it smoothed out pretty nice. Okay, this is the oldest. You can see the uh, windage knob marking. And this one here looks to be the same. But when you get to the brand new one, you can see that the arrow's different and the R's a little bit different. Okay, so this is the brand new Colt carry handle with the cage code. You can see where they, they stake the end of it and uh, that prevents the knob from coming all the way off when you spin it. It gets tight, doesn't want to come off. So let's see what the older ones do. Um, you can see there's no staking in that one and there's no staking in that one. So either Colt forgot to stake these, but you can see what happens because they're not staked. Uh-oh. Same thing with this 33-year-old uh, one. So something to watch out for if you got an older carry handle. Well, about the only other difference that really jumps out at me between the uh, the really old one, the older one, and the brand new one is the coloration of the uh, rear side housing, but that just could be an age thing. This one here is almost a black, but these are kind of a greenish gray. I've decided to go with the, uh, the brand new Colt for the uh, Wyndham that needs the, the mill spec carry handle. It's a darker black and it matches the, the Wyndham finish a lot better than, than the old Colts, which are like a really dark, uh, dark gray, kind of a charcoal color. So anyway, uh, hopefully I gave you guys uh, some worthwhile information today. Uh, the difference between standard A2 and, and an F marked. You can see that F in there. And even though you buy carry handles from the same place or even sometimes the same manufacturer, doesn't always mean you're you're getting the same exact thing. Pete in North Las Vegas, over and out. Okay, so a couple of bonus clips. One on the left is standard A2. One on the right is 40 thousandths taller. So normally a standard A2 comes in around 0 0.270. So the one on the right should be about 0 0.310. I haven't measured them, but you can see that it's quite a bit taller. All right, there's our plus 40 thousandths KNS Precision. So that takes care of the standard A2 front sight base issue. Gets that up to correct 
F marked height. And we have our correct mill spec brand new Colt carry handle. So this rifle is now mil spec dimension everywhere. All right, Pete North Las Vegas over and out for real this time.